My name is Manny Escano, and I'm a professor at the Departments of Biochemistry and Pathology, Microbiology, and Immunology. Yeah, so my lab is interested in looking at how cells respond to stress in the form of viruses or bacterial invasion or infection. And so with that, what I mean is that if you think of a virus, a virus is basically um, a package of inf genetic information that wants to copy itself. And it does that by infecting a cell and hijacking components of that cell. I think that this area of research uh, in particular is an area where if you think about it, a virus is constantly trying to infect a cell and a cell is constantly trying to uh, make sure that it detects a virus. So there's this constant push, push and pull. And, and um, almost a molecular arms race, if you will. So this, is, this area is very ripe with unique biochemistry and unique mechanisms. And so that, to me, is always a, a good place to, to look at um, basic mechanisms of biology. In many ways, the viruses that we're looking at are, are always new. So with emerging infectious diseases, we're pretty much interested in things like chikungunya and Zika. These are obviously emerging viruses, and we're very interested in understanding how their basic ways of uh, infecting a cell are either similar to what we already know or unique. And, and maybe in those situations where we find either similarities or uniqueness, these are opportunities for therapy, right? And so my lab is a very interdisciplinary lab. We use things, uh, we use tools within biochemistry, cell biology, proteomics, and now high throughput genomics to try to understand, to basically bring to bear many types of assays and approaches to ask this question between, again, viral RNA and, and proteins. I think, I think uh, you know, trainees need to understand two concepts, right? That they need to learn how to fail fast and to be mentally agile. The kind of work that we do, we often, it, the experiments that we run often do end in failure, but with every failure there is always progress and you can always interpret, appropriately so, some failed experiments and be able to see a path forward. I would encourage students and trainees to, to, go, to, um, to go to seminars in fields that are not necessarily directly relevant to what they do, to, to really recognize that creativity isn't really creating from nothing, but rather oftentimes it's more often that you find that you're basically borrowing established approaches in one area of biology and then just reapplying it in another in, in that creative sense. Right? You know what, I saw growth here, right? So since I've been at this, uh, in this department, um, that's only been three years, uh, there have been five new junior faculty here. So I saw a tremendous investment in the future. Um, and that's just within our department. I think there's about 15 or 20 new junior faculty throughout uh, you know, Vanderbilt University. And so yeah, this, this space here that I now my laboratory is in is state of the art. I was able to be a part of in helping the design um, and getting this actual lab into, the, to, into what you see now. And uh, it sort of fosters a lot of uh, collaboration because we're quite literally next to each other's laboratories. And in fact, the, 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 the PIs, the professors that are in this space are for the most part all junior faculty. So again, here is a situation where we're all starting in the same space, in the same place, and doing you know, fantastic new science together. So.